Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's highly publicized relationship, marked by passion, glamour, and relentless media scrutiny, has come to a definitive end. Their two-year marriage, once hailed as a rekindling of a love that defied the odds, has now dissolved amidst a sea of personal struggles and professional setbacks. But even as the final chapter of Benefer comes to a close, sources reveal that Affleck made one last gesture of kindness towards Lopez, allowing her to file for divorce in a final act of compassion. While the spotlight on their turbulent relationship has magnified their individual challenges, this act highlights the complexities of their bond and the emotional toll it has taken on both. As the dust settles on their split, this final act may provide a glimpse into the complicated dynamics that ultimately led to the collapse of their marriage. After months of speculation and media leaks, the final nail in the coffin came when Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce on Tuesday, marking the official end of her marriage to Ben Affleck. While some may have assumed this move would bring closure to their tumultuous relationship, insiders suggest that the drama is far from over. Each side has its version of events, with Lopez and Affleck's camps trading accusations over who is to blame for the marriage's failure. However, a close friend of the couple revealed an interesting twist. Affleck had anticipated Lopez's filing and, in an act of compassion, let her take the lead on the divorce. According to this insider, the decision was strategic, aimed at protecting Lopez's public image as she faced a series of professional and personal challenges. This year has been particularly difficult for Lopez, whose comeback has been marred by a series of disappointing ventures. Her first album in a decade, This Is Me. Now, debuted at a lackluster number 38 on the Billboard charts, only to fade into obscurity. The accompanying film and her Amazon Prime documentary chronicling her romance with Affleck were equally panned, casting a shadow over her return to the spotlight. Additionally, her highly anticipated 30-date arena tour was abruptly cancelled, reportedly due to low-ticket sales. As if that weren't enough, her beauty line, J-Lo Beauty, is being phased out by Sephora after failing to meet sales expectations. The blow to her personal and professional brand has been immense, leaving Lopez vulnerable and in need of damage control. It is in this context that Affleck's decision to allow Lopez to file for divorce takes on greater significance. The couple had initially planned a joint filing, but Affleck chose to take the high road, recognizing the mounting criticism Lopez was already facing. A close friend explained that Affleck's final gesture was an attempt to shift the narrative, allowing Lopez to save face amidst her mounting public setbacks. Jennifer was more concerned about how the split would affect her career, what fans would think, and what the press would write, the insider shared. Despite their marital woes, Affleck, who has battled his own demons over the years, chose compassion over conflict, giving Lopez control of the divorce narrative. However, not everyone views Affleck as the selfless figure in this story. Another insider painted a less flattering picture of the actor, describing him as impossible to be married to. They claimed that his mood swings, selfishness, and negativity were a constant strain on Lopez, who was always trying to lift his spirits. The intense emotional labor she invested in their relationship left her drained, with the toll of trying to meet Affleck's demands becoming too much to bear. Despite her efforts, Lopez found herself in a situation where nothing she did could salvage their marriage, and after months of rumors and speculation, she had no choice but to publicly acknowledge their relationship's end. Affleck, who has long struggled with addiction, has been a source of concern for friends and family, particularly in recent months. There have been whispers of a potential relapse, with some close to him fearing he may have returned to drinking. While this hasn't been confirmed, it's clear that both Affleck and Lopez were grappling with their own personal issues, which only further complicated their already fragile relationship. The pressures of blending their families, adjusting to a high-profile life together, and managing their individual careers likely added to the strain, ultimately pushing them apart. In a final indication of their separation, Affleck moved out of their shared Beverly Hills home in May, shortly before Lopez's birthday. He purchased a new house in Los Angeles for $20.5 million but did not attend her birthday celebration, signaling the beginning of their physical and emotional separation. By the time Lopez filed her divorce papers, it was clear the couple had been living apart for months, with Affleck moving into a lavish rental in Brentwood while their marital home was put on the market. 
the end of Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's whirlwind romance may not come as a surprise to many, but the revelations surrounding their split add a new layer of complexity to their story. Affleck's decision to allow Lopez to file for divorce is seen by some as a final act of compassion, an effort to preserve her dignity in the wake of professional and personal humiliations. However, others see their breakup as the inevitable result of irreconcilable differences, with Affleck's temperament and Lopez's career-driven lifestyle proving incompatible. As both stars move forward, the question remains, will this final act of compassion help them find peace, or is it simply the last page of a story filled with disappointment and heartache? Whatever the case, one thing is clear, this high-profile split marks the end of an era for two of Hollywood's most iconic figures.